here are 10 games coming soon to Apple Arcade. Baldo is an action-adventure RPG. If you didn't know, Baldo's development started a long time ago, 15 years. It was meant to release on Game Boy Advance under a different name, but it never came to be. Now the game is officially back under a new name, Baldo, and will use new technology for better cartoon shading that old devices were not capable of at the time. It was the developer's intention for the game to be quite similar to The Legend of Zelda, taking elements from the combat, puzzle solving, and so on. But it definitely will stand out with its use of 2D and 3D graphics, and its gameplay is much slower paced. Baldo is releasing on the 27th of August. Asphalt 8 Airborne will soon be coming to the App Store Greats category on Apple Arcade. The original version is free, with in-app purchases for credit, fusion and token packs, subscriptions, and the game contains ads. Those are all removed with this arcade version. How will progression be handled now? Will it be more grindy? How will you unlock cars that were hidden behind a paywall? Will seasons in the campaign be unlocked from the start now? I'm very interested to see what is different there. Unlike other games that have come to the App Store Greats area and only been available for iPhone and iPad, Asphalt 8 will be available on all platforms. But this is probably because the original had Mac and Apple TV versions. Tetris is finally coming to Arcade with Tetris Beat. How can you improve the idea of Tetris though? How about fusing its classic gameplay with music and rhythm mechanics. The game will feature three modes. Drop. Rotate and drop the blocks to the beat, all while keeping to the rhythm in order to build the biggest combo chain and score big on the leaderboards. Tap. Players choose the most strategic ghost piece to tap into time to the beat and lose themselves in the flow state. And Marathon. Play this mode for the traditional Tetris gameplay experience. The game will feature 18 songs at launch, with more added each month. The game will also have split screen for the marathon mode for Versus on Apple TV. Crossplay will be supported for multiplayer, three difficulty levels and spatial audio support will be available. There is something different about this one button platformer. Oh yeah, every day a new level appears. Yes, literally every day, forever. This is a follow-up game to the developer's 2016 game, Leap Day, which had the same premise. This one is way bigger though, with new environments, new hazards, new enemies, new game types, and tons of new contestants to play as. There is a new king on the throne too, and he will create challenges for you. Avoid the traps, boost up walls and along ceilings, control the climate, manipulate gravity, hang on ceilings, and so on and so forth. Super Leap Day is releasing on the 6th of August. Originally released on Nintendo 3DS, then it was ported to the App Store in 2018. The iPhone and iPad version of Monster Hunter Stories had several improvements over the original, high resolution graphics, an improved user interface, and a new autosave feature. Now, in 2021, Monster Hunter Stories is coming to the App Store Greats category on Apple Arcade. What's new this time? Absolutely nothing. The arcade version contains the same content and support as the paid App Store version. That means you should expect no controller support and no Mac or Apple TV version either. Boo! If that doesn't bother you, I still strongly recommend that you check out this one. It's an amazing open-world RPG story adventure. You can befriend monsters by stealing eggs and hatching them. You can name them, ride them around the world, and they can join you in solo or network battles. Monster Hunter Stories is releasing on the 6th of August. Crosswords make webs. That's the premise of Word Web. What you do here is grab words from a list and cross them with words on the board. Then puzzle your way towards a finished tile, put down enough words, 
or put down as many words as you can. If the art style looks familiar, you might find it interesting to know this game is made by the people who brought you Hidden Folks. It's a completely different game we've got here, but yes, it retains their art style. The game will contain different modes from Tangle Mode, Precise Mode, and Daily, Weekly, and Monthly Mode. I love how there are little characters that will walk around. Apparently, they do absolutely nothing. Classic. Super Stickman Golf 3 will soon be added to the App Store Greats category on Apple Arcade. It's a wacky 2D golf game featuring 35 characters, crazy power-ups, collectible cards, game modes, and turn-based and real-time multiplayer for up to 8 players. Compared to the free version of this game, arcade players automatically unlock the premium upgrade, an XP doubler, and last shot indicator. Plus, there are no ads or in-app purchases, the buck system has been rebalanced, and you have unlimited turn-based matches. Please note, this game won't contain an Apple TV version, but it will have a Mac version, presumably because the original game did. Fantasian Part 2 is almost done. Part 1 of Fantasian was 20 to 30 hours long. The second part of Fantasian is going to be double the size of that, which is insane. Fantasian Part 2 obviously expands upon the story, takes you to new locations, and introduces you to new characters. But it's important to note, it will also offer a slightly different experience. You see, the first half of the game was more story-driven, whereas the second half is going to be more quest-driven. This means players have more freedom to pick and choose where they want to go. While technically not a new game, this expansion pack is going to be huge, with heaps of new content, so I thought it was fitting to include it on this list. MasterChef Let's Cook is a hyper-casual game you can get matched with other players online or play solo. Choose your ingredients, slice, prepare, plate, and serve dishes with mini games. Just like the show, the MasterChef jury will evaluate your dish based on your performance and speed. Complete and unlock new recipes, challenges, mini games along your cooking journey. I definitely won't be playing this one as I'm not into these sorts of games, but at least it looks more polished and won't have all the annoying paywalls that comes with free hyper casual games on the App Store. And finally, Layton's Mystery Journey will soon be added to the App Store Greats category on Apple Arcade. Originally released on the App Store in 2017, it continued the much loved Layton series in the 10th anniversary installment. You follow Catriel Layton in London as she becomes embroiled in a casual, comical, quizzical quest which has its roots in our new hero's search for her missing father, Professor Herschel Layton. Travel around famous landmarks in London, solving case after case, until she unwittingly uncovers the millionaire's conspiracy. The 2017 paid version costs $16 with $39 worth of in-app purchases for DLCs, puzzles, and more. The arcade version comes with all of that included with your subscription. What do you think of these upcoming Apple Arcade games? Which ones are you most looking forward to playing, and why? Let me know in the comments. The amount of quality games coming to the service is quite overwhelming. I'm very excited and happy with the consistent updates Apple are providing to Arcade. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple Arcade related. My name's Stewie and thanks for watching.